Good morning everyone or whenever you're watching this and happy Valentine's Day! So I am going to try my best to film throughout the day today and upload tonight so that's still like relevant on Valentine's Day. I woke up to a few, oh my favorite chocolate, and he knows I love dipping and everything. I am going to make everything heart shaped today. I'm all about a theme. I put love on my sweater, I got a heart on my pants. So I saw on Pinterest some ideas. I saw one where you make cinnamon rolls into hearts and Marty has cinnamon rolls. Make some red icing, um, so let's go. Okay, so I just saw you, instead of doing it like the roll, and then you just roll it into a heart. Okay, these are my hearts. And put them in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to make um, French toast egg hearts. Because my kids love when I make these little egg hearts. So I do it as I normally would French toast. I just add Obey onion powder and garlic powder. So um, when I do what I call circle eggs, I'll take like a cup, like a really small cup or a champagne glass and make... I know I'm making circle eggs, but they're going to be hearts today. Is that fun? Yeah. So normally I'll take like the top of the cup and like make a circle and then put it in there. So I still eat every part of the bread. I think I do have cookie cutter hearts, but I'm just cutting it right now because I think it's a little bit easier. Okay, so cinnamon rolls came out, so I'm gonna be quick um, and just mix a little, little bit of red. I don't love food coloring. I need to find like better alternatives for it, but. Um, I didn't really think ahead and we already had this, so I'm gonna put the icing in here. <laughs> Literally one more option. Oh wow, it's very red. I could have even put less than, way less than one I thought it was just gonna be super pink. Okay, and then let me get the that's my mess right now. This is how the hearts turned out. You know what, I'm gonna get our little brush that I have. So yeah, you. I'm doing this right now because the cinnamon rolls are obviously hot. So the icing just kind of melts on it much better. And this is the icing that just comes in the cans. Okay, and then the little heart. Um, I didn't cut out enough hearts yet, so let me do that. It's a little harder to cut these hearts than I thought it would be. So let me kind of speed through this. Okay, so put some butter for the French toast. And then I just kind of throw the hearts in here. Dip the eggs. And then, my kids love this, by the way, so the hearts will make it even more fun. And then I just put the hearts on the pan. And like I said, these are normally just like circles. You can really honestly do any shapes that you want. And I think I'm gonna make a big heart for me and Matt. They're also drenched, so if you don't want them to be as soggy, just kind of like lightly place them um, top and bottom instead of like drenching them. Okay, so let me do two bigger ones for us. So I made these really soggy. So it, I, my recommendation is if you do this, just kind of like Tap it in front and then back and then put it on. But I made them super, super soggy. Especially because like, I've done this before with brioche bread, which is like thicker, so um, it doesn't get as soggy, but this is just regular, what is this? Artisanal style bread. I'm using the scraps 
And I'm just putting the leftover eggs I have on it so that's not completely wasted because you can still eat it. Okay, so while that's cooking, let me clean this in a mess. So this is what I made for breakfast. I made heart cinnamon rolls and um, heart french toast eggs, I guess you can call it. So these are the big ones for me and Matt, and then these are the smaller ones for the boys. I'm not gonna pick it up like this. And yeah, we'll continue this for lunch. So I realized I didn't actually have the main camera footage for this, so I only have this angle, but basically I just got these heart-shaped nuggets from Aldi and um, these potato puffs that were heart-shaped as well. I didn't make anything on the stove, so it's all right that there's no camera footage. But yeah, this is basically what we had for lunch. This was me and Matt's meal, and then this is what the kids ate. Okay, it is 5.40. I'm starting dinner a little early because the kids are gonna go to bed a little earlier tonight. And Matt and I are going to watch Love is Blind tonight <laughs> after the kids go down. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit tired. Okay, so Matt opened this for me because I don't know how these open. I just know the cinnamon roll ones don't open crazy. So um, I'm going to put my hair back. So we're obviously going to make heart-shaped pizzas. This pizza is actually really good. So I'm gonna get my scissors and just make two hearts. So cut it in half first. I noticed my head was like way in the camera, so let me try to back up a little bit. I did see that um, Aldi had was selling um, heart-shaped pizzas, but it was like $8.99 and I couldn't justify it. So I was like, I already have the marinara sauce and the cheese. I don't need to buy pizza that's pre-made. Look how cute that is. I'm obviously going to use all of this. I'm just initially making these hearts. Look at these hearts. And then these kind of just look like pizza slices, so I'll just leave these. You don't want to waste any of this. Okay, so let's do the main ones first. Let me get the pans. So we're running out of parchment paper. I have to reuse the ones that were in the air fryer. Let me go ahead and put it on there. Okay. okay, looks wild, but. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm actually gonna put um, some avocado oil on it first with this brush. Um, and and then I'm gonna put some seasoning on it. This is just how I've always done it. I don't actually have all of oil right now. I don't even actually know if it matters, but. Okay, and then before I put the marinara sauce on, I just put some of the seasoning on it, like the garlic. And then I put Italian seasoning on. Mmm, I just love the smell. It just really gives you a pizza smell. Okay, then I put the marinara sauce. I love a lot of marinara sauce. And then, obviously, the mozzarella. This is my favorite. I love how soft this cheese is. It's the organic um, mozzarella cheese from Aldi. It's so soft and thin. So I'm gonna make one of these cheese. Um, my favorite type of pizza, I mean, I like Supreme, but I also just love, I don't necessarily love Hawaiian because I don't really eat like the pork. So like the ham, but, or I guess pepperoni too, but we have a turkey pepperoni, but. Um, I love a good barbecue chicken pizza. 
I thought about making that. Actually, I totally could have. Actually, I don't think I have enough uh, barbecue sauce. But yeah, today I think I'm gonna do a mix of just like the cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, and then a supreme pizza. Okay, so that's no cheese. Okay, so for one of the pizzas, you guessed it, I'm gonna do heart-shaped turkey. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. So this is turkey pepperoni. This is from um, Target. But I believe they sell turkey pepperoni at um, Aldi as well. Look, it can still look cute like this. Or I could kind of alternate it on this one. That's cute. Um, okay. So now, I'm gonna, we like, I like to eat bell peppers. I always grew up when my parents would like cut bell peppers on the side. Um, I'm gonna put some on the pizza for the supreme one. And I did practice cutting these after I saw some of you guys' comments about the peppers. Someone said you just go all the way through. And then you pull the middle out and it pops right out. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, I forgot to turn on the oven. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. I normally do that as like the first thing. Let's see if these guys are small. I'm just gonna cut these kind of small. And we do have mushrooms and I thought about putting them on here, but then I was like, eh. I'm using them from a different for a different recipe, so I didn't wanna like use all of it up. Okay, and then let's put some more of these toppings on. Honestly guys, I'm at that point of my night where I, th I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. I was thinking about like cutting onion and everything. I'm just gonna keep it simple for real. <laughs> Me and my kids, I actually just love cheese too. So I'm just gonna leave half of it cheese, half of it like supreme pepperoni. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna pop these in the oven. Um, that was so quick. But I'm gonna cut the rest of these peppers too. So these will just be on the side and I'm gonna put, the, put these bad boys in the oven. All right, so I'll come back once they're done cooking. All right, so this is how they turned out. I was telling Matt when I got to the oven, I was like, it smells like Chuck E. Cheese in here. That's a good thing, because Chuck E. Cheese pizza smells great. So I'm just gonna plate everything. They look so adorable. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna give the boys these pizzas, probably put them right there. And this is how our dinner looks. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I will probably never do this again, I'm not gonna lie. It was very <laughs> ambitious and difficult and challenging and I'm tired, but it was fun. I was gonna do this whether I filmed it or not, so I wanted to um, have you guys join in on the fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you had a happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.